put the rivet into the gun that had already pushed out the make sure your hole is clean and clear get it, all, get it all the way down in there and get it level pull it push it back down again So here's where the edges have been sanded and bonded and Dennis is working on welding the doors back on to the bus and Andy and I both spend a good bit of time spraying down the doors uh, just so they don't rust um, and getting them prepared uh, once they get installed. Now they're going to be wrapped with the vinyl wrap but we just didn't want the metal rusting underneath the vinyl wrap. So this was the first test run of getting the doors installed and then got them completely put up and then we had to pull them down and of course put the freshly painted doors up um, complete and pretty. Here Dennis is just finishing up any welds that need to be touched up. Now these interior frames are going to house um, where the sink sits and where our storage sits and we had to frame out the top as well as the bottom even though the HVAC and the generator will be in these we have to have something to enclose them. After the frames are built, all the welds have to be sanded down, the metal has to be cleaned and spray painted so it doesn't rust, then they have to go around with a caulking to fill in all gaps and holes around the edges to complete the project. When we began deconstruction of the bus, we discovered a great deal of rot in the wood, which also generated a great deal of rust on the metal once the wood was pulled out. So, after the men had constructed the frames, they bought a formula to spray or paint on the metal that would stop the metal from continuing to rust. This is the odd color that you see. It has a chemical reaction that stops all of that. Some of the most satisfying parts of working on the bus is the cleaning of the interior. It was quite nasty and with lots of built up old grime and dirt. So I have thoroughly enjoyed cleaning it and making it look uh, so much nicer and, and better than it was before. I'm excited to see the finished product. Thank you. 
I'll come look in two seconds. Frequently, I find myself multitasking when I go work on the bus. This happened to be one of those days that I was listening to a Zoom conference while I was cleaning inside. Right here, we are laying down new flooring in the rear of the bus where we had to pull up flooring that was damaged and had issues. We fabricated... Um, boxes to contain the AC unit and the generator. We're going to build uh, cabinets around the boxes so in order to get everything to fit flush we had to grind welds on the metal where we had welded and fabricated everything to be able to have the wood as you see in this picture fit flush. Now we're building the boxes around the fabricated metal and next will be the cabinets that we will build. Here are the completed boxes on the inside of the metal fabrication that we had done. The cabinets will go in next that we will build. This is the AC line that's being run. Those are countertops that we picked up. Here's more AC lines being run. That is the main condenser unit in the back that's being mounted. Here is the front mini split and there is the rear mini split that has been mounted. Here we are fabricating metal to hang and support the gray water tank that will be needed for the sink that will be installed inside the bus. We will also be installing a drain for the gray water tank to be drained. 